Today, the Bank of England held off from adding emergency stimulus by holding its bond purchase target at £275 billion and maintained its benchmark interest rate at the record low of 0.5%. Joining me now to discuss some of today's decisions is Simon Kirby, a research fellow at the National Institute of Economic and Social Research. So Simon, we've had the Bank of England rate decision today and the bond purchase target was untouched. What do you make of today's decision and how does it sit in line with NIESR's GDP estimate for the UK? I think the Bank of England decision that it announced today was broadly as expected. With regards to what we think happened in the final quarter of last year, the UK economy slowed down quite significantly, effectively flat in the final GDP level in the final quarter as a whole. So a picture of a very weak UK economy at the end of last year, not in recession, not contracting as the OBR had expected, but nonetheless a very weak UK economy. So it does um, sort of support um, the argument for the Bank of England actually coming around to, to further, to expanding that bond purchase programme further in the coming months. The Bank of England expect the current round of quantitative easing to be finished in February. But what about the prospect of further QE? It appears like the current outlook warrants further easing. So when could we see this taking place? I, I expect to see an announcement at February's meeting of the Monetary Policy Committee, effectively once the current round has expired. This will give them you know, a, a month or so of more information, some tentative information about the beginning of 2012 and, it, and, it, and it's the first half of the year in particular when we expect the UK economy to be particularly weak even in particular what's happening to the euro area and so we do expect the, the, the Bank of England to expand expand this bond purchase facility from the start onwards. Um, delaying it too long um, is going to be of no help to, to a very weak UK economy. In the third quarter of 2011, the UK economy grew the most in a year. In terms of overall growth forecasts and a general outlook for 2012, what is in the pipeline for the British economy? Well, what we've seen is the UK economy's growth rate actually halved. So it grew by just over 2% in 2010. That's halved to 1% in 2011. We expect economic growth close to zero overall this year, um, with, with a very shallow recession in the first half of 2012. So all in all, 2012 does not look particularly promising for the UK economy. But... It's relatively temporary, as in we have, a very, we have a short recession in the first half of 2012 in our current forecast, and then we return to more normal levels of growth towards the end of 2012. And much of this is related to the events occurring in the euro area at present. Thank you very much for that, Simon. Stay tuned on Duke's Copy TV for more exclusive interviews on market news. Goodbye for now.